This is my favorite budget-friendly Mac-based ProPresenter 7 operating setup. Before we dive into all the details, here it is. This setup consists of a Mac Mini M2 with 512 gigabytes of memory and eight gigabytes of RAM, a Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio monitor that is a Thunderbolt 2 HDMI or SDI output that's gonna run you $125, an Apple USB-C Thunderbolt 2 HDMI output that's gonna be another $65. You'll need a Thunderbolt cable for that, which are crazy expensive, 40 more dollars. And for many of you, that's gonna be all you need. So for about $930, you'll have a good system. Now, that's assuming that you have other uh, monitors and a mouse available that you can use a keyboard uh, for peripherals to be able to operate the machine. If you're like me, you have a monitor farm with old monitors and leftover, you know, Apple mouse systems that you replace with Magic Mouse uh, around the church. But if you don't have those, you can always uh, just get something of your choice for probably under $100. If you wanna go really cheap, you could go with some of the Mac Ally stuff on Amazon. We've got some of it. It's very cheap. Um, I'll link to the all of those things and this exact setup in the description below. Those will be affiliate links and I appreciate you using those if you found this video helpful. Now I know some of you are probably out there screaming at this video. You can do this for so much cheaper with PC. Well, I have not been on a PC in over 14 years. So I, I know that you probably can. If you have a great setup that's even cheaper that you would recommend PC wise, you can uh, put that in the comments of this video. That would be helpful, I'm sure, to those of you who are in the PC realm. So recently we remodeled our youth worship space and I wanted to put a new system in there, but it needed to be budget friendly. So I started down this rabbit trail. Well, the new M1, M2, you know, M3 even now chips are great for Mac, but the problem was that there weren't enough display outputs unless you went up to the Pro model. So the M2 Pro now is gonna run you about $1,300 versus the M2 uh, of the same specs at about $860. So we can even go cheaper though. We don't necessarily need the full 16 gigabytes of RAM with these new chips. But how do you solve the problem of needing an audience projector, a confidence monitor with a different output, and an operator display? Well, that is where the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, it's a really long name, I'll link it in the description, comes in and saves the day. Because ProPresenter can use these Blackmagic devices natively. If you have like a Decklink Duo, it's similar to that, but it's just giving you one output. So for us, since this was a youth room and I knew that other people were going to be coming in and wanting to maybe plug into our system or we have gaming nights sometimes where they'll put Mario Kart up on the projector, uh, the problem with the Blackmagic device as your maybe projector output is that it has to use software-based things that can read those Blackmagic devices like ProPresenter or DaVinci or other programs, but you can't just drag a, a window over onto that Blackmagic device. It's not an extra screen display that you can extend your desktop onto. So we opted to use the HDMI port out of the Mac for our monitor. If you don't have a monitor, I'd recommend on the budget but still good range, a Asus uh, ProArt Display 27 inch. We have that in our main worship center with our Mac Studio and it's great but we opted to use the HDMI for that, and then a USB-C Thunderbolt to HDMI for our projector display, and then we use the Blackmagic device for our confidence monitor on the back wall. Now, if you have a little bit more budget to stretch, something that we've really liked having is an ATEM Mini between the projector send, and so, we can input different things into that ATEM Mini and just switch to that switch and it will go to the projector. And that way the projector always reads from the ATEM Mini. It's always on and ready to go. And nobody's unplugging our computer and plugging in other things. If you're in shared spaces in a church, you know how frustrating that can be. And then displays get forgotten in ProPresenter and it's just really, really annoying. So $295 for that ATEM Mini has been really, really helpful at times. Being able to just plug a Nintendo Switch into that or an Xbox or somebody else's computer that's coming in to present. So I think it's worth it. One other thing we did, which has worked good for us, uh, is splitting that signal out of the 
USB-C to HDMI from the Mac Mini before hitting the ATEM. So there's an Ori 1x2 HDMI splitter. That way we can have a bigger confidence monitor, uh, not confidence monitor, operator uh, you know, preview there sitting there for our operators to be able to see what's going on to the projector. I've had, you know, some of those work good. Some of them work bad as far as the HDMI splitters. So if you have a good HDMI splitter, like a Kramer or a Kanex that you recommend, that's great. Those just start adding a lot more expense. These Ori's look identical, but they're like 20 bucks. So um, you could try that if that's something that you really need. One other tip I'll give you is that if you need extra stage displays, you can always utilize an iPad or a phone, or even better yet, if you have an Apple TV laying around that has ethernet, you can pl put that on the same network, open up the Apple TV stage display app, and then run that to another TV somewhere else. And it's typically, it's technically wireless that way. I mean, I would, you can do it over the wireless network. I prefer hardwiring anything that I can, even with your mouse and keyboard. I'm um, circling back to that. I would go wired. Don't do wireless because batteries are not your friend in the production world. But that's just a tip I would give if you need extra stage displays. So you're out of outputs from your Mac Mini M2 at this point. How do you get lyrics onto your live stream? Well, depending on how you are encoding your live stream, you could always do an NDI output uh, out of ProPresenter into that software and get it out of the computer that way. And that doesn't count against a hardware output. So over the years, we've had lots of different ProPresenter setups and usually in our main worship center, I soup that up because I want it to last a long time. So we have a Mac Studio that has, I think we're running seven or eight outputs out of it now, including the Decklink Duo with multiple stage displays and everything, and it's been a workhorse. That's why I love the Mac system. We had an iMac for years that ran and it did great on the old Intel system, and now it's being repurposed into our multi-track recording system. Uh, we've had other just smaller Mac Pros that have ran in our kids' ministry. Um, but I, I think that sometimes you don't need all that power. You just need a simple setup that can get you a you know, a stage and a stage display, uh, audience and stage display. And this is the cheapest way that I've found to do it. So if you have other solutions, tips you'd give, throw those in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have a lot more videos just like this for the do it all worship and media arts directors out there. And remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.